Hello there everybody and welcome to a new series on my channel. We are doing some Terraria modding and I'm going to be trying to go over as much as possible in each episode. So let's start up with starting out modding shall we? Now what you're going to want is Team Mod Loader. If you just go to Google just type in Team Mod Loader it'll be likely the top option. Just scroll down to here and download your version. Then you also want to click on this mod skeleton generator, which is the page we were on, and you'll want to name give your mod a name. In this case, we're going to do tutorial mod, mod display name, tutorial, your first item. We're going to be creating a sword in this. Uh, just because a lot of people want to make a weapon first, we'll do tutorial sword and do that. Click generate mod skeleton. It would download a zip file. You just extract it into where you have your stuff. You should be good, and that didn't open my mods folder. Tutorial mod. Now I'm going to be using Visual Studio for this. You can use anything you want. Uh, if you just open project and open this, you'll likely get a message like this. Just click OK. And everything should load up. So in here, you'll see we start with a CS file, folder called items, and in that tutorial sword and a png also called tutorial sword let's jump over into the coding and open the tutorial sword yes and let's go over what this is so basically every single item and stuff that you'll create will likely use these two and will use mod whatever in this case item now I'm going to say this now, if you do move your CS files around, make sure to update the namespace, otherwise it will cause problems. I'm saying that now, otherwise it's a nightmare. Okay. So the setup file gives you two override functions which are set defaults and add recipes. Let's go over what the each of these uh, properties are. So item name, you probably guessed, is the name of the item. We're going to call it Story of Sword. Item damage is the damage the sword is going to do. This is base damage, so this is fairly strong. Change it to 20. Item dot melee or melee, whatever you, however you say it. Uh, this is one of many options. Says item dot ranged, item dot magic, item dot. I can't remember. Actually, I think it's just those. I might be wrong. Uh, and just set whichever one it is to true. So, uh, item, it would be weapon class type, I guess you could say. Now, width and height, these are, if I remember correctly, the hitboxes for 
uh, the item. If you also look at items here, it is the. I was trying to hover over. It's the uh, dimensions of the picture. So if you want to use those, go ahead. So hitbox width, hitbox height. There's item tooltip and item tooltip two. Just enter strings like that, and these will be displayed with the items. Use time is how lot how quickly you can reuse. If you've ever used something like Cheat Engine with Tavaria, you've possibly messed around with use time. One will make it go very very fast 50 is fairly slow I don't know what the range is but 20 seems to be the average number which is uh, speed before use item use animation is the time it your character is animated for in this case it's 20 this is also a number that pretty much stays the same. I might even be wrong about use animation, I'm just guessing as much. Use style is how the weapon is used. One is basic uh, broadsword. I can't tell you the others offhand, but we'll go over them as we progress. Okay, knockback. This is a float which means you can have decimals in it. You, uh, knockback is how much you knock back. The higher the value, the more knockback you do. The sword's the average is 4.5. If you do put point sank, make sure to end with F. Uh, Oops. Uh. Value is a interesting one due to the way it's laid out. So I'm going to use uh, note tags for this. It's split into different sections. So that's platinum coins, gold coins, silver coins, and bonds coins. So in this case, the value of this tutorial sword is uh, one gold coin. So you can mess around with this. That's 50 silver, uh, 50 silver, 50 copper. Uh, 50 bronze. Is it copper or bronze? I feel like it's copper. I might be wrong. Okay. Item dot there is another interesting one for this. Let's jump over to here and I will show you the rarity. Okay, so rarity has these, is basically the tier for each one. Minus 1 is for the rubbish stuff, whereas 11 is the highest stuff. Uh, there's also Expert and Quest. We'll go over those at a later point. The default is 2, which is midway pre-hard mode items. So if you're going to be creating items, it helps if you place them in the correct uh, here. So for this, we're just going to use it's a weapon and armor that we're going to cheat in. So we'll keep it at two, so it'll be green. Okay, so that's item tier. Tier. Okay, 
item dot use sound now this takes a sound id this is what the use into aria dot id is for now i don't have a list of any of these so you will likely have to work out what each one does because there are a lot that you'll have to play with but for swords i believe you can just keep out item one sound effect of item on use then item reuse is either true or false this is where do you need to keep clicking like this or not if it's true you only need to hold down your mouse if it's false yeah have fun clicking most of the time you'll keep this to true do you want to picture And that's the basic stuff. I'm just checking over this. Yep, that's everything. Now let's head over to this add recipes. So add recipes uh, is where you'll be creating the recipe for the item. So basically how it works is it's split up into different sections. We've got the ingredients, which in this case is going to be item id dot dirt block and you're going to need 10 of them recipe dot add tile is workbench this is where you will have to be or what you what tile you'll have to be near in order to use it so tile workstation uh ingredient for crafting if you want to add more ingredients simply just do recipe dot add ingredient item id and you can add your uh, ingredient now if you've already made an item then and you want to use that you'll need to use the following you want to type null then uh, the string of the item that still doesn't seem right apparently is then in this case we're just going to say we haven't made one but we would use tutorial item and we'd want to use one of them that's for when you're creating one now recipe.set result you will do this and then how many you want so if we wanted 50 swords for some reason yeah you'll get 50 which reminds me that there's another thing i need to go over in the items so you'll always enter this uh and that's pretty much it recipe dot add recipe just adds the recipe into the game now after this you can add another recipe layout so let me just organize this a bit better so you could say this oh, this is recipe one just do recipe equals new mod recipe which takes in mod and just start over So now we have this. I said I was going to go over something. There's another function that you'll be using for stuff, which is max stack. Normal items are 99 ingots of that, and in this case, it's one. But I believe weapons set them to one by default. I might be wrong on that. Okay. Now this is done. Let's quickly jump over to Photoshop. I'm going to open the tutorial sword and I'm going to show you something that's very important to remember. In Terraria, everything is scaled up by two. If we just set this to half, this is 
pretty much what you'll want to be working with. So we're just going to make this sword an awful looking blue colour. Like that. And once you're done, make sure to scale up. And save. Now, if you want, you can use uh, sprites that already exist in Terraria. Uh, you can download this uh, from Sprite as a resource, it's very handy and it's great for seeing how each thing looks. So, we've created our sword. We're not going to edit it anymore. But if we click start, we'll wait for this to load up. And I might have to install a mod unless it's already installed. But this sometimes takes a while to load up. Because it's Terraria. Turn down the volume a bit just in case. Okay, so Terraria has opened. And if everything works out, it should load perfectly. Loading mod, stream mod, perfect. Now, you'll see here I have Heroes mod installed. This is very helpful for. Uh, Uh, just characters. Uh, for characters, what do I mean for creating mods? So here we are in a new world. If we just drop down a tree, just get rid of that. It's very slow. seem to be getting lag for no apparent reason whatsoever. But if we look here, it's our tutorial sword, which is now a weak tutorial sword. As you can see, plugs in game, let's try and get slime over here. Um, amazing. And just that's our normal sword. And there we go. And it is copper, not bronze. So that's everything for this tutorial. Hopefully, it's been helpful, and we'll be doing a lot more in the future covering more weapons, items, tiles, blocks, etc. etc. Until then, thanks for watching, and goodbye.